Hi, hey, hello everybody. What is up? I hope you're all are doing well today. My name is Glitzy Cam and welcome to my channel. So, 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 we got a big, huge ass haul to talk about today, okay? These are a whole bunch of Halloween items that I have been collecting for the past couple of months and I'm just now getting around to actually showing you guys the haul because I wanted to make sure everything, all Halloween, was gonna be in one video. It's not just about the body works, we got some Target, we got some Spirit Halloween, we got some Spencers and Michaels, so on and so forth. So without any further ado, let's go on ahead and get into this huge ass collective Halloween haul. First things first is probably such like a random product you wouldn't think like, oh my god, look what I hauled today. It's from McDonald's, bitch. Like, there's two. <laughs> These are the Halloween Happy Meal buckets, and they are just quite literally adorable as hell. The only reason why I went to McDonald's was so that way me and my girlfriend could get these. Yeah, I've never had a Happy Meal in my whole life until I got one of these bad boys. So, look, it comes with a cute little activity thing where you put these stickers on the back side of these skeletons, and there's a little guide. Yeah, adorable and cute. Love that. I spent like five minutes doing this because I wanted this. To be cute so that's what it looks like finished yeah that's adorable i have no idea what i'm gonna use these for yet i don't even know what happened to this one's handles but these things are so freaking cute i i just wanted them in my life so here they are in my life so yeah <laughs> so that's those so up next is going to be walmart it is just two items i picked up these gorgeous old tumbler cups look at them oh my god okay so let me show you the orange one first look at this one this one is just so on gorgeous oh my god it's so pretty i i love i love i love so that's the orange one and then up next is this beautiful purple one look at this it is so gorge god i love this one so much this one is like bae like the orange one is pretty but this one though she's cute she's very cute and i can't wait to use these like yeet, so cute i literally just got one thing from fye and it is this michael myers halloween t-shirt look at that yeah i need this some spooky everyday shirts to wear so like i had to get this so this is gonna be a nice comfy ass spooky shirt i could wear and then up next i got this very gorgeous old pink long sleeve shirt i don't even know what like what specific character this might be from if she's from anything but she's just so creepy cute and adorable and i love the whole aesthetic of this shirt so much i just needed it in my life and it's just so spooky so that's why i'm including it and then it has some really pretty ass detailing on the sleeve too hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let me see if i could finagle this just right to show you like what it is I do not finagle very well. Oh my god, get the fuck in there. I just broke a nail. Anyway, so here's the cute little detailing on the sleeve. The back of the shirt has this cute little heart on the back too. And it, I love this shirt so much, bro. I love it. It's so freaking pretty and adorable. This is so my aesthetic. So is this one. Oh my god, I've been wanting a t-shirt like this for so fucking long. I freaking love this one to death, bro. I just love the art style that's on this one. It's like literally these two. These two guys right here are my aesthetic. My two very polarizing aesthetics. These are shmi. So next up, a couple other items that I got from Spencer's as well. So this one isn't Halloween themed, but I wanted to include it because this is the only thing from Spencer's that I got that isn't Halloween-esque. And it's this cute little mug. It says go suck a deck. <laughs> I love it so much, bro. And it's pink. This is so me as well. Like, I love this so much. I can't wait to feature this in a video whenever I make coffee. I can't wait, bro. I cannot wait. Yee. And then speaking of, I got another cup from Spencer's. And I, j I just could not resist. I had to have it, like, I had to have it, bro. This cup is so daggone gorgeous, bro. I want to drink the most expensive fucking wine out of it so bad. I love this. The final thing that I got from Spencer's is this adorable ass wallet from Gloomy Bear. It's so daggone cute. I love cutesy, creepy shit like this so much. And then here's a look at the inside. 
So I was stuck between this one or an Itachi wallet and I was this close to getting the Itachi wallet until I looked at the inside of the both of them. I much preferred the interior of this wallet instead. This one was more expensive too. This one was $30. But it's okay because it's very cute so it was worth it. So now I'm gonna go on ahead and show you the Michaels portion. So first up, I got these cute little white spider web table runners. I got two of them because I'm gonna put them on the top of these big old bookshelves right behind me so that way my collection looks all types of spooky and cute, you know? Even though you probably won't see it because it's gonna go on top, but you know what, it's okay. I might feature these in a decorate, reorganize, slash declutter because I'm gonna be doing a video like that here soon. So as I'm decluttering and cleaning out my collection, and reorganizing it. I might also like show you guys me decorating the little bit that I can decorate, you know? So yeah, I got these just because I want my shelves to look a little tiny bit extra cute and spooky. So that's why I got these. And then up next, so as you can see, I got this big ass tree behind me. It is a spooky Halloween tree, okay? This is part of the haul, okay? This is also for Michaels. I'm so happy to have this. This is also gonna be our Christmas tree. The ornaments that you see on here, all of these ornaments are also from Michaels too. Can you see that one? That one's so cute. I love the kitty cord on this one. There's also some blue candy corn too. It's all the way up there, but yeah. But yeah, me and my girlfriend impulsively got a spooky Halloween tree because we're those bitches. There's some more. You can probably see that one. There's a cute little spider. A little spider. Oh, these were actually gifted to us, so I don't know if that's actually for Spencer's. I'm sure you can find something like that at Spencer's or not Spencer's, Michael's though. And then let me show you the cute little guy that's at the top that's not for Michael's. This was made by my girlfriend. Let me show you it. So here's the cute little guy that's at the top of our Halloween tree at the moment. It's shiny punkaboo. Look at him. He is so adorable. My girlfriend 3D printed and painted him and I love him so much. She was stuck between doing normal punkaboo versus shiny punkaboo. And I voted shiny because I'm a shiny bitch. And look, plus like shiny punkaboo just looks even more spooky than normal punkaboo. So yeah, this is the cute little guy that's at the top of our Halloween tree. And I love him to death. I want him tattooed. It's so cute. I love him so much. So there's that. And also to go with our tree, we picked up some more ornaments. It's going to be these cute little guys. Look at them. I don't know what it is, but I love ghosts for Halloween. They're just so adorable. So I love getting ghosty things for Halloween. And these are going to be going on the tree literally right after this video. So up next from Michaels is going to be this gorgeous old. It's hard to see because it's dark. But this gorgeous old candle holder. Look at this. Oh my god. It has very pretty spider webs with some bats on these inner workings right here. Look at that, bro. I kind of wish this bat was tilted from here to this way rather than matching it with the other one, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But like this is so gorgeous, bro. To go along with that candle holder, I, of course, had to pick up plenty of taper candles. First of all, I picked up just two of these very pretty pale pink candles because this is all that was left, so I just went on ahead and yoinked them before they were gone, so. Yeah, look at these. These are really cute pale pink. This kind of pink is so pretty. I love this shade of pink so much. There's those. And then up next, definitely, this is not like Halloween-esque, but I am just gonna go on ahead and include it into the haul. These are very pretty metallic shimmery gold candles to go along. There's those, there's a whole pack of four of them. And then last but not least, I got this big old pack of some black candles. I got these both for the aesthetic and the witchy purposes, so yeah. And this is a whole ass pack. How many is in here? 15. There's 15 of these bad boys up in here. What did I tell y'all? Ghosts. Ghosts. Oh my god, look at this cup. I picked up a lot of cups. I don't know why. Why am I like this? I picked up so many cups that I don't even need them, but it's okay. <laughs> and then last but not least from Michaels, I did pick up a whole bunch of washi tape. I picked up literally every variety that they had in it because all of Halloween stuff when we got these was like 40% off because they were phasing out Halloween and bringing in Christmas. I picked up some washi tape that was on sale and it's all spooky washi tape. Oh fuck. So here's one variety of it. This one is just so adorable. This is one of my favorite ones that I picked up. And then this one is my absolute favorite. Look how pretty and adorable. I love that one. And then there's this one. And then last but not least, I picked up this one as well. 
These are going to be great for my arts and crafts stuff and also apparently people use washi tape for journaling so I want to go on ahead and start getting back into journaling and have these cute little guys to decorate my pages so that was all that I got from Michael so without further ado let's go on ahead and get into the spirit Halloween stuff so here's actually another item that is not Halloween-esque but I did get it from spirit Halloween and that's why I'm including it I got my girlfriend this cute little reusable bag of Appa and Aang from Avatar and she's a big ass Avatar fan. She's a collector of all Avatar things too so I of course had to get this for her. I be collected Bath and Body Works, she be collected Avatar shit. It is the exact same thing on the back too so. Then up next I got another Dagon cup. Here it is! Uh, I just could not resist. I was so excited about picking this up that I didn't even inspect it and notice that there was a little chip right there but it it's it's okay look how gorgeous this poison apple cup is this is from what disney movie is this from i know i know this is a disney product but i can't for life of me remember what movie it's from yeah this this is just so freaking adorable and i love it then i picked up a cute little pair of spider web tights look how freaking adorable these are i love these so much i can't wait to put those on and i actually have a very simple fit idea with those where it involves wearing this very large and in charge oversized ghost face long sleeved jersey like yeah there's the back oh my god i can't wait to wear this fit and then i picked up this yo this is so freaking cute i love this thing so dag on much it's a crossbody bag it's literally just a black pumpkin and then the innards are orange <laughs> nothing going on on the back but the straps are inside of the bag and there's the inside so freaking adorable bro i love this bag so much and then last but not least from spear halloween i literally don't even know why the hell i grabbed this but i grabbed it anyway I got a big ass cauldron. I don't know why the hell I got this, but I did. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here yet, but I needed it in my life for some reason. So this was a very impulse purchase, but here we are. So now let's go on ahead and move on to the Target Halloween haul that I got. This first product is so freaking random. I picked up an entire little bucket of these adorable ass halloween cookies like look how freaking adorable they are that ghost bro this ghost is so cute and then there's little frankenstein and then there's a mummy and i think that's all the designs that's in here but yeah this is from hide and eek which is the target halloween brand and they're all hand decorated sugar cookies so real quick i completely forgot to take these off of my shelves but there are two more cups from michael's that i forgot to mention and i think the, those are the only things that i forgot i got adorable little cute little ghost buddy mug from michael he's so cute uh, i love him so much so cute and then also for michaels i got this very cute jack-o-lantern mug to be cute little ghost guys buddy they are so cute i love them to death those are the only things that i forgot from michaels so i just wanted to go on ahead and show them right quick so recently i did end up picking up a your egg because they were recently on sale so i got one of those and ever since then i've been non-stop buying a whole bunch of different flavors of k-cup coffees so the first one that i wanted to go on ahead and show you guys is this one this is from target of course but this is what brand is this the original donut shop coffee i'm assuming i don't know i'm not like a big coffee nerd so but this is in the caramel apple pie flavor are you kidding like that sounded so delicious and i did actually try one it was it was a while ago though so i don't remember how i felt about it but this is so ball of a flavor so i had to get it the packaging is adorable so there's that and then i did also pick up another flavor this is from this is the cinnabon classic cinnamon roll flavor k-cups there's no way you look at this in the store and just straight up ignore it i couldn't i know i couldn't so i had to get this i love anything cinnamon roll so cinnamon roll coffee just sounded so daggone delicious so yeah so then up next i did pick up a few drinks as well i picked up the only the halloween flavors from liquid death this one is bury it alive i think the packaging is just so freaking nice like that is so nice i love it and then up next is the simone 
This one is the Severed Lime. Bro, these just look, these, I couldn't, I, I had to try these because I'm such a sparkling water guru and liquid death. I actually, I've only tried just the normal plain canned water. So seeing that they have like sparkling flavored water, I got very interested. So I had to try it, especially because these are the Halloween flavors. So that's the Severed Lime. And then last but not least is this Mango Chainsaw one. The bottle on this one, I think, is my favorite. It's just, just so gorgeous. Yeah, there's those. We're gonna do a little taste test of the mango one. I wanna smell, I wanna smell. You wanna smell before the taste? Yeah. I always do that. Oh yeah, that smells like mango. Straight mango. Fresh cut, juiciest fucking mango ever. That's bubbly as shit. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a bit more of the mango flavor. Cause it's like, it's there, but I think it's like sparkling takes over a bit more. But isn't it pretty good though? Plus, I like anything mango. I like this one. Oh, I, ooh, it tastes better. Like after you've had it for a bit. The aftertaste is better. Oh, that mango's good. <laughs> Then up next is from Starbucks Inside Target. I got this gorgeous dark olive green cup with a very bright orangey yellow iridescence to it. This daggone cup is so gorgeous. Like, I love it so much. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I love it. And then, also from a Starbucks inside of Target, these are like a Starbucks Target exclusive. It's these cute little Starbucks cup keychains. And I, I needed it. It's so freaking adorable, bro. Are you joking? And I love the color. I love dark greens. Dark green is my favorite color, specifically Viridian. So, this, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the cap actually comes off. And then my final cup is this cute little cauldron with a spider web on it. Now I will say I don't, mm, the design is a little bit questionable because why is the spider web on the side like that? I wish it was on the front, but this thing is just so adorable. I had to have it, so yeah. <laughs> and then me and my girlfriend impulsively picked up this jumbo cupcake pan and look at them, they're jack-o'-lantern shaped and me and my girlfriend have plans to make cute little spice cakes with these the last of the kitchen wear is going to be these i picked up two of them these are glass bowl has cute little bats completely lied that was not the last of the kitchen stuff i completely forgot that i also got this big ass black pumpkin bowl to be a little cute little candy dish kind of situation i don't know what i'm gonna use this for just yet though okay i think this should be the last last of the kitchen stuff that i got this Cute little ceramic skull is actually a bowl and we do have some candy in it. I love it so much. So this guy is just a simple glass pumpkin. You could actually put like a tea light because it has this little opening, but I don't know why. I just loved how this pumpkin looked. So I of course grabbed it. I especially love like the wispy looking streaks of color inside of the glass and that's like what made me got it i don't know i thought it was just really such a pretty decor piece and then i picked up this this was so pretty i low-key want to get this tattooed i don't know why this thing is just so daggone pretty then i also got this cute little guy now this is a little tea light jack-o-lantern i thought he was so adorable so i grabbed him very impulsive up next, I picked up this little two-pack of some kitchen bathroom towels. They are so freaking pretty. This one is just a plain black towel with black and orange stripe trim with a cute little jack-o'-lantern that says Happy Halloween. This one's a very soft one and then this one kind of feels a little bit more and it's just a plain white background with some jack-o'-lanterns printed all over. I thought this one was just so cute. And then I could not leave this guy behind. He was just so cute. <laughs> He is the cutest little guy ever. This thing is so adorable. Give me, give me some names. I don't know what to name him. So I'm a blanket whore. <laughs> don't even start. I'm a blanket whore. I have like, I want to say at least 15 blankets and I just cannot resist the super cute Halloween and Christmas ones. So I picked up two of the Halloween ones. This is one that I picked up. There's kind of a better picture of what it's supposed to look like on the actual packaging. I literally almost got every single variation of blankets that they had, but I 
I told myself, no, I'm going to get the ones that I really, really wanted. So there's that one. And then here's the other blanket that I picked up. This one. It's so freaking cute, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 I literally almost got every single variation. But I literally have so many blankets. It's ridiculous. But I'm still going to get the ones that are still super cute. Which was those two. So. And then I picked up this cute little bath rug. I got this jack-o'-lantern rug. Look at it. It's so cute! I got these pretty impulsively, but I really wanted them. And like, they were only a dollar. They were literally only a dollar, so there was... I got these just for the sake of having spooky pencils to draw with. So, yeah, I can't wait to start sketching with those. Then, I also picked up an entire cute little booklet of spooky Halloween stickers. There's like four different designs, but there's... 12 total sheets this thing is like decently sized like you know how many freaking cute things i can make with all these dagon stickers here is one design there's a second design there's the third design and then here is the final design up next i picked up two pairs of slippers spooky slippers of course first up this is my pair what is for my girlfriend what is for me i picked up this pair the white pair is mine and it says boo is ghosty and spooky and i love it and i needed it and then up next are going to be my girlfriend's which is the black pair and it says spooky and then you of course have to get spooky socks there's no excuse to not get spooky socks okay so i picked up three pairs i got this cute little stripey jack-o-lantern these are kids sizes but they look like they'll fit Here's that. Then up next is going to be another jack o' lantern design. Then last but not least is this one, which is just some skeletal socks. Skeletal feet. I did also pick up some spooky pajamas. So this is an entire set of PJs with a shirt and pants. There was like several different designs, but this one I thought was like really the only cute design that they had. And then from KISS, KISS actually launched like a Halloween collection over at Target. They have lashes and nails, and I think they also had some nail colors too. But I only picked up some nails as well as some lashes, and I picked up two different designs in the lashes. So so first up is this matte velvet pair. This one, oh my god, so pretty. And then the next pair that I got is the matte satin. There's like, I think, at least two or three more different designs in the Halloween collection. I kind of want all of them, but I thought these two were the must-haves in that kiss release. And then I did also pick up some nails. So I picked up this long nail set with some really pretty spider designs. I like how they say that this is long, but that it doesn't even look that long at all. Like, I wanted them just because of how cute they were. And then this pair is definitely more my kind of length. These are the extra long Oh, I didn't even notice, but these are both glow-in-the-dark. I also picked up this pair. This pair was just so daggone pretty. Oh my god, I love this pair. It's so witchy, and I love it. That was that. That actually ended the Target portion of my Halloween haul. So last but not least, let's go on ahead and get into the Bath & Body Works Halloween stuff that I was able to pick up. So the Bath & Body Works Halloween stuff that I got is, I think, the biggest. I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of Halloween shit. So first off, I'm going to go on ahead and start off with some hand soaps that I picked up. So first up, I got this Vampire Blood in the Gel formulation. This packaging straight up looks like a scene out of Stranger Things and I love it. This has notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. I already know what this smells like, of course, but like, mm, it smells like there's like extra plum in the hand soap. Mm. It smells so good. This is like the classic Halloween fragrance from Meth and Body Works. I can't spend Halloween without using Vampire Blood. And speaking of Vampire Blood, I did actually pick up two of the foaming hand soaps as well because this packaging is just so daggone gorgeous. Are you joking? Plus the red liquid up in here is so pretty. So daggone pretty. If I could get 50 of these, I would. And in that same collection, I did of course pick up Wolfriend as well. And this packaging is just extra pretty because it's just such a very cutesy witchy vibe anything that's witchy like this I love so much now I will say I'm not the biggest fan of ghoul friend but I did just go on ahead and get it anyway just simply because of the packaging yeah don't be like me. This has notes of dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I'm not the biggest fan of citrus fragrances, and this the peony and this is just so damn strong that it 
is a very floral fragrance. Don't get much strawberries at all. It just mostly smells like straight floral peony to me. The packaging was just so cute that I needed it in my life. So I did only pick up one of those. Then I picked up this cute little guy and Stardust Magic. Look at the little bat right there. That's so cute. The fragrance it very much intrigued me this has celestial caramel swirl mystical vanilla and secret musk now girl this smells good you know what this kind of smells like that is it smoked leather and caramel hand soap that was available during the springtime from the neutrals collection this smells very similarly to that fragrance and then in that same collection i did also pick up sugared spell look at the cute little witch hat right there this has notes of spooky sugared lemons candy gumdrops and sweet musk this i know it says lemon in the notes but it smells more like mango to me Oh, it smells like mango gummy candy. It is so good. It's so sweet, so candy-ish, and it's so good. Then, last but not least, I did pick up two of the Enchanted Candy Potions. This pink is so pretty. I love it so much. And this has a cute little moon with stars. This has notes of spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. Straight up smells like super sweet, sugary, tart powder candy like it's like it smells like sweet tarts or pixie sticks a uh, fun dip it smells like that realm of candy but it does smell so good and yeah i i love this and i did pick up a backup i picked up two of course so that way i could use up one and then save one for later so up next i do want to go on ahead and show you guys the body care first of all i picked up three of the sprays and i actually thoroughly enjoy this fragrance and look at this packaging it's so simple but it really is just so cute this actually does have the exact same notes as the hand soap it has spellbinding sugar bewitched berries and whipped pixie dust and again it straight up smells like those powdery but super sweet yet tart candy oh it's so good then up next i did also pick up the shower gel as well too and then last but not least for the enchanted candy potion body care i did also pick up the shimmer body lotion the packaging for these products are literally so daggone cute so i had to get it let me go on ahead and show you what it looks like on the skin it is very loud and crackly so crackle crackle as you touch it it crackles even more it's also hella cold so that's what it looks like on the skin it's a little bit subtle but it's still pretty so up next this packaging is simply so daggone gorgeous so this is actually the halloween fragrance that they brought out from last year back this year this is the wicked vanilla woods it has magical vanilla glowing amber wood and enchanted pink pepper this smells like a very sexy deep woody vanilla mm. like this this definitely has more of a halloween vibe compared to the enchanted candy potion i'm a fan of the wicked vanilla woods i did pick up two of the sprays in total and for this one i was actually able to pick up the body cream thankfully look at that and then of course i also picked up the shower gel as well and then last but not least, I also picked up the Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. So there was that. So then moving on, let's go on ahead and talk about what's in this cute little bag. I got this bag too. This bag was so freaking adorable. So I did have to get this too. But I did actually store a couple of items up inside of the bag. First up, I did pick up this cute little, it's a set of three frightful bath fizzies in the fragrance Spooky Berry. And it's a little cardboard candy bag. It's so cute. Are you joking? It smells like a more sour, almost citrusy version of Vampire Blood. So there is that. And then up next, I did store some super small things up in this little bag. First up, I did pick up the Halloween lip glosses that they had. So the first one is Sour Gummy, and then the next one is Candy Corn. The packaging, bro, it's so cute. Bath & Body Works really be popping off with their Halloween packaging, man. They have a talent for it, for real. Look at that. I love the little holographic detailing. I have a feeling I'm gonna prefer the Sour Gummy. I'm not big on Candy Corn, but I needed it in my collection so there's those guys and then next stop is actually one of my favorite pickups which is this cute little pumpkin lantern pumpkin lantern lanyard this is a cute little pumpkin lanyard does it say this wearable oh my god it lights up there we go look at it 
it's pretty subtle so cute and then on the little lanyard itself it has some more jack-o-lantern faces and some stars on it and then I do also it's also a hand sanitizer holder I don't think I mentioned that and then I do also of course have some hand sanitizers so one that's in here is the enchanted candy potion one You don't want to be held apparently. Boom. Enchanted Kenny Potion. Then up next, I also picked up this little Jekyll Lantern milkshake one. This one is just so daggone cute. There's the Vampire Blood Hand Sanitizer that's in this one. Actually, another one of my absolute favorite pickups. And this guy sold out quick. I think this was like the very first thing that I had sold out for Halloween. This little guy. This gemstone ghost hand sanitizer holder sold out so daggone quick. I completely understand why it sold out as quickly as it did because this thing is so daggone adorable. And then, boom, I got gold friends chilling up in here. There's a better look at the packaging for that. I needed it in my life and I cannot wait to put it on my bag. So there are two more hand sanitizers in this bag. It's repeats. I got one other enchanted candy potion and then I also got one other vampire blood. Then up next, I did pick up a bunch of the car for fragrance refills in vampire blood i think this is the first time that they brought out a halloween car fragrance refill so i picked up quite a few i picked up four in total and then one is actually in use right now i did pick up a couple of wallflower refills i picked up only one of the vampire blood ones packaging the little tags for the halloween ones are so cute and then i picked up two of the enchanted kinney potion wallflowers and then i did pick up but two room sprays. I was mostly interested in just these fragrances, honestly. I picked up the Enchanted Candy Potion, and then I, of course, also picked up Vampire Blood, too. Yeah, I love the packaging for these. They are so nice. And then last but not least of what was in that trick-or-treat bag, I picked up all three of the Diamond Shimmer Mists. They only had these in the mini, sadly. If they had the full size of these, I would have yoked those up so quick. They had it available in Vampire Blood, as well as ghoul friend and then pumpkin carving now i want to go ahead and show you guys all of the daggone wallflower plugs that i got so this one i'm pretty sure is one that came back from last year and it is this gorgeous like amethyst crystal ball this is actually a light up wallflower plug this is so freaking gorgeous as i said anything that's witchy like this is just it speaks to my soul and i need it in my life so i had to grab this and then i know for sure i picked this one up half off because I literally had no intention of getting this until I seen that it was half off. But this is the LED pumpkin. Honestly, what also got me was the fact that the glitter on this just is so gorgeous. I wish I also got the bat, but that one sold out so quick. Then up next, this one I redeemed as a reward because it was so inexpensive. But this one is so cute, bro. Oh my god, this one was just so daggone gorgeous. I love this design so much, bro. I love this thing so much, bro. It is literally so gorgeous. I have seen pictures of it lit up. This is also a light up one, and it just lights up white. I wish it lit up green, like how that background is, but it's still cute nonetheless, and I love it so much. Up next, I picked up also the infamous Monster Tree Wallflower. Oh, it's so freaking cute. I love the little owl that's right there, as well as these cute little bats everything about this wallflower plugin is just so daggone adorable this also lights up as well and it glows this design is just so daggone adorable i had to have it and then last but not least for my wallflower plugins i also picked out this cute little witch's cottage look at that how freaking pretty this is so gorgeous man this is so freaking pretty bro i can't believe this is a wallflower plugin and this one actually is a projector plugin that's what it projects this is so adorable i love this thing so up next you guys know i'm a candle whore and i did pick up a decent amount of candles first up i of course picked up all the classic fragrances that they do typically bring out so i of course picked up vampire blood i love when they do the colored wax straight up again this packaging looks like it came right out of stranger things and honestly i love it there's a little look at this year's lid honestly i think last year's halloween lid was cuter but this is cute too it has blood red 
strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, dark Transylvanian plum. It's such a juicy but deep fruity, almost candy-like kind of fragrance. This is like my favorite Halloween fragrance that they bring out year to year to year. You can't go wrong with this one. This one smells so good. I love it. Up next is, of course, the other classic fragrance, which is good old ghoul friend. And this packaging is just so gorgeous bro they definitely went with a much more purple look this year because usually gold front is pink but they took her to the dark route this year and i kind of love it same lid as the vampire blood this has notes of dark strawberries ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus now i said earlier i'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance but for some reason it smells really good in the candle right now Stop. No, I can't like this. Anyway, so there's Girlfriend. She's cute. And then last but not least in that same collection is actually going to be a returning fragrance that they brought back from last year, which is going to be Pumpkin Carving. And this packaging, I think, might just be my favorite, and that's why I had to get it. With this bright neon orange wax. That's so pretty. Same lid situation again. This has notes of freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. This straight up smells like literally pumpkin carving. It smells like pumpkin guts with some sprinkle of brown sugar. It is a very authentic smelling. You know what? It smells. It smells so good. It smells like crack. Pumpkin spice crack, bro. This shit is so good. Then up next is going to be good old enchanted candy potion. We need to talk about this packaging because this is literally gorgeous. Literally gorgeous as hell. Are you joking? All the witchy vibes. The daggone packaging itself is crystallized like look at that that is so freaking gorgeous and it has a slight holographic e nest to it and i love this candle so daggone much and it's a luminary too so you're gonna get some really pretty like just glow pieces peeking through the packaging i got two total of them but this has notes of spellbinding sugar bewitched berries and whipped pixie dust and i it smells a little light not gonna lie on cold but it still has that very powdery sweet tart candy note Ugh, it's pretty light but it still has that presence and it's it's so good it smells more so like the pixie dust or the powdery sugar candy note and less fruit not as much berries in comparison to all the rest of the products mm, but it does still smell so good and the packaging is worth it if you ask me. And then last but not least, probably one of the most gorgeous candle designs from this year. It has to be for this candle. Simply gorgeous. I did pick up two of them. This candle is originally 32 50 bro. That is a hefty price for a Bath & Body Works candle. But it's worth it just simply because of this right here. Look at this daggone lid. It is a... It's a glass lid. This thing is literally so daggone gorgeous. Are you joking? I love this daggone lid so much. I'm going to keep this lid forever and ever and ever. It's so daggone gorgeous. This is Spooky Cider Lane. And this has also some pretty witchy gorgeous daggone packaging on here. This is also Illuminary. And this has notes of bone chilling bourbon, glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla. The wax is black. The wax is black. And I love it so much. Oh, it smells like those caramel apple lollipops. Oh, it smells so good. But honestly, I'm not burning either one of these spooky setter lanes that I got I'm never burning these two because they are strictly for the collection because of how daggone gorgeous the packaging is the lid the lid itself is worth getting this candle I love this daggone candle so much so that was all the candles that I picked up so now all the rest of the products are going to be some hefty on the core pieces and candle holders and soap holders and stuff so let's go on ahead and get into those first up I am going to go on ahead and show you guys this gorgeous old hand soap holder i had to have it it's just so freaking pretty i love it so much it's so spooky and i love the color scheme i love it so much and this was actually inexpensive enough to to where i was able to redeem it as a free reward so i got this for free and I'm very happy about that love this thing i'm putting this in my bathroom immediately and then last but not least for the hand soap holders i did pick up miss thang Miss Witchy Hand. The detailing on the hand is so good. I love it. I will say that I'm not a fan of this little fusion right here. I don't like that. I kind of want to file it down, but I'm scared of breaking it, so I'm not going to. And she came with a cute little spider ring. Love that. And honestly, the base 
of the soap holder is so pretty because of the oil slick iridescence on it. I love it. I will say though, the hand feels too heavy for the base because the base is like, it feels fragile, whereas the hand feels pretty hefty. So I kind of wish that the base of the hand soap holder was heavier than the hand, but as long as I'm careful, it shouldn't have any problems, hopefully not. Yeah, that's my only like issue with it is that the hand has the weight and not the base of the hand soap holder itself. So then up and next is one of my favorite pieces that I also picked up and it is this gorgeous all little through bit candle sleeve. Look at it. Look at the colors all up in there. This is also cheap enough to get as a free reward, so that's exactly what I did. Honestly, this whole aesthetic just reminds me of that My Scary Godmother movie, and that's like the best Halloween movie ever. I love this thing. So then up next, I did also get another. <laughs> I did also get the matching candle holder to the Spider Branches version, and oh my god, I love this candle holder. It's so spooky. I love it. It's a... Uh, Look at that, bro. I love this thing so much. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. And up and next. So I kind of almost didn't get this, but I ended up getting it because I've been wanting a cat for so damn long. And so I got this. This is the single wick black cat candle holder. And look at her. She is so pretty. She's so cute. I love her. I named her Spooks. The moment that I saw this on Instagram, I knew I had to have this. This is just so daggone beautiful. Now this, honestly, this does not scream very super spooky Halloween to me for some reason. It just kind of has a dark element. It doesn't scream Halloween like how all the rest of this stuff does, but this is so daggone beautiful. I love this thing so much. Oh. So freaking pretty. I love it. Up next is actually going to be a product that was also available last year that they brought back this year. Which is going to be this cute little monster ball candle pedestal. He is so daggone cute. I had to have him. I named him Grog. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's the cutest little thing ever and I love him. And he does also light up. I don't know if there's batteries in here, but let's see. Oh shit, there's batteries in here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I love him to pieces. <laughs> Then up next is actually another re-release of a product from last year that they brought back this year, which is this very gorgeous, tall candle pedestal water globe situation. It has a cute little graveyard on the inside of this crystal ball. And there's ghost confetti inside, and it is the cutest thing ever. Where's the button? Look at this. The ghost confetti is so daggone cute and I love this thing so much. Y'all, why am I like this? Why did I spend as much as I did on all this Halloween shit? Up next. Now, look, I was not originally going to get her, to be honest. I... I don't know. I don't know. I, at first I didn't want it that bad, but then I wanted it because it has titties. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want her until I noticed that she had titties. This is a very hefty piece. This doesn't scream Halloween to me either. This, if anything, this kind of has more of like a cottagecore witch kind of vibe. Not quite Halloween, but this definitely has kind of a rich vibe. Like, you know how some rich decor pieces are just simply a bust? This has that kind of vibe, of course, and it's big bro like i didn't think this thing was this big but it is it has a marble base with a large gold spider and then this does actually have like green felt or green velvet and this is a gorgeous green i love the green that they used and all types of gold detailing on her sleeves as well as on the vines and this thing is just so daggone gorgeous and that's where you put the candle in i love this thing so much up next is going to be this gorgeous old water globe of the raven look at this thing it is kind of like a flat round moment it's not fully circular like how the graveyard one was this thing is just so spooky i love it so much are you kidding it's got bat confetti inside of it and it actually glows green when you turn it on and this thing actually oh there's no batteries in this but this thing does 
glow green and it's such a pretty green and it does actually play music as well too and one of my favorite things is i love all this vintage detailing it's so daggone pretty i love this thing so much this has such a dark spooky truly spooky halloween-esque vibe to it and i love it so i'm gonna find out i think i picked up a broken raven because we just put batteries in it and it didn't work but it's okay because I'm gonna keep it just simply because it look pretty. It's just it's just simply nice to look at even if it's off So it's all good. I still love her so much. So yeah, so it up next This was actually the second water globe that I picked up this thing is truly so Spooky and I love it this thing when you turn it on. I don't think there's batteries in here there's no batteries but the eyeball actually spins when you turn it on and it lights up and everything this thing is so cool i love this thing so dig how much yeah it spins the eyeball spins, the eyeball spins. I'm gonna battery it says it <laughs> um two i want to say delta a's or triple a's bitch bitch i don't know you might have to open this up because i can't open it up with my nails on give me <laughs> i think it might be double a's yeah three double a's Oh shoot, it takes three. Yeah. Dang. Okay, ooh! My girlfriend really went through five minutes worth of effort to hunt down some daggone batteries to light this thing up. And honestly, it was so worth it because look, it's so pretty. Anyway. So there is a candle on it. I love this thing. This thing is so freaking cute. Damn girl. <laughs> I was able to pick up the infamous monster tree candle holder. This thing is notorious this year and for good reason because just look at it. Look how freaking gorgeous this thing is. My favorite thing on here honestly is these cute little mushroom ghosts. Look, it's just so pretty. There is not batteries in this one just yet because it needs triple A's instead of double A's like the rest and we don't have any triple A's at the moment so but the face right there does actually glow green and at first I was very confused on where the candle exactly went but I will show you. Just go with the end right there. And look at it. It doesn't look very stable at all. It's so daggone pretty. Are you joking? I love this thing with all my heart. And so with that, that brings me to the very last product for today's haul. This is the most expensive item in today's haul. It was more expensive than the daggone tree. It was more expensive than this daggone Halloween tree, okay? But let me tell you, it was so daggone worth it because this is the first ever product like this that I got from Bath & Body Works ever. And it had to have been a Halloween item because as y'all know, I'm a Halloween bitch. I love Halloween. Halloween to death and if I could live in this thing I would this thing is heavy as hell so <sighs> now nah, I did not pay full price for this coupons we love coupons because they actually lead you to making big bad decisions like me <laughs> <laughs> but I got it I got the goddamn luminary I got the this I got this I cannot believe that I have this in my hands bro both of my stores that are within a reasonable driving distance near me they each only got one there was only two in my whole daggone city and I have one of them <laughs> look at this I love this thing so much this thing is hefty bro this has to be 15 20 pounds I love this thing I love these ghosty mushroom buddies right here they're so daggone cute oh look it has the monster tree on the side I love that and there's the other side. Bitch! <gasps> Bitch! You got it to light up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, you, you continue on. I'm gonna continue. Hold on. And then here is the other side. Got another mushroom ghost right here. And then I love that moth. That moth is so cute. And then there's the inside. That's where you put your candle in. I got the freaking Halloween luminary and I'm gonna treasure this thing with my life for the rest of my life I love this thing so daggone much I'm so happy to have this it's so cute I love it I love it so much I love this thing more than I love myself and then my girlfriend was actually able to find some batteries for the monster tree so let's go on ahead and see him lit up yeah <laughs> <laughs> you did the same shit. Bro, it didn't even look like there was a little barrier right there. That's why I was like, um, where the fuck is the holder thing? Don't look into it. That shit's bright. 
I love this thing so much. I don't love it as much as the luminary though. I love but, it as much as the luminary. So that was everything for today's huge ass collective Halloween haul. Easily my favorite thing ever that I got was the Bath and Body Works through the candle luminary. That is my prized possession. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you wash your ass and make sure you drink your water. I appreciate you guys so much for watching today's video and supporting me in my cool again ass channel. And I will go on ahead and catch you guys in the next one. Bye. to my lighting bro i can't go too far down or else <coughs> it'll show titties that's okay i done worn a hentai shirt on my channel already so that yeah but the titties are propped in this one the titties are all out on the other shirt that i showed too oh what about the fucking tree bitch i don't i don't know I, I, yeah we bought a halloween tree i know i wanted to include it just leave it, just leave Huckaboo on there all. I'm gonna have that as the final item that I show. I love Halloween.